Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Morning Moments with Jesus and our daily devotion. To and uh, this morning, the Lord takes us to Acts chapter 9, and this is the conversion of the Apostle Paul when he was Saul of Tarsus. And you may know the story well, but he was uh, found on the road to Damascus. The Lord met him there. He lost his sight and uh, had to be helped into the city. And he was there for three days without anything to eat or to drink. And in that time, uh, the revelations of the Lord was coming to him. And there was a man named Ananias that the Lord chose to go and put his hands on Saul. Uh, and extend uh, the Christian faith to him that he might receive his sight. And as we know in that story, uh, the only thing that Ananias questioned about the Lord was uh, that Saul was someone who came against the church. He, He persecuted the church. He tried to destroy Christianity. And so Ananias asked a, a bold question that, you know, Lord, are you sure this is the man that you want me to go and put my hands on. So we pick up in Acts chapter 9 and verse number 15 when the Lord Jesus Christ responds to that. And he says, But the Lord said unto him, Go your way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. But now verse 17 is very important also. It says, And Ananias went his way, entered into the house, and putting his hands on him said, Brother Saul, the Lord even Jesus that appeared unto you in the way as you came, he has sent me that you might receive your sight and be filled with the Holy Ghost. What I want you to see this morning, what the the Holy Spirit is really speaking to us this morning is that when we read this, we see that Saul of Tarsus was a chosen vessel for the Lord, who would later change his name to the Apostle Paul. And we know that he had a dynamic impact on the Christian faith. But in this story, there were actually two chosen vessels. The other one was Ananias. Now, I never read in that story where Ananias got upset because he wasn't the main attraction, that he wasn't the vessel that was to be apostle to the Gentiles and to kings and to the children of Israel. I never see him say, Lord, why wasn't it me? I was faithful to you. I'm a a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. Why couldn't I do those things? No, when the Lord said, I need you to go and do this task for me, The Bible says Ananias got up and went. But he didn't just go and put his hands on him. Ananias spoke to him. And he didn't just speak to him. He called him his brother. Now let me tell you the importance of that this morning. The importance of that is this. When Saul of Tarsus lost his sight on the road to Damascus, It was because he had saw the world in the wrong light. And when he received his sight after three days, the first thing he saw was a vessel of Christianity that Christ chose to use to show his love to Saul. And every time the Apostle Paul told his story, he always mentioned Ananias. So we see Paul, which was Saul of Tarsus at the time, we see him as a chosen vessel. But don't miss Ananias, because he was also a chosen vessel. And this morning, I want you to know that you are also a vessel for Christ. And you may not get the big job. You may not get the one who stands on a platform or, or, or is in the public eye or writes books or 
does these what we perceive to be great and marvelous things as a vessel for Christ. That may not be your job. You may simply be called to extend love to someone today. To extend forgiveness. To show them your faith and your calmness through the storms of life. You may be called to be a witness. You may be called to be an example. But whatever it is, be a vessel for a specific purpose and a specific reason. Today I speak that blessing over to you and I pray that right now that you would just, whatever the Lord desires for you to do today, be the best at it you can be. God may be calling you to be a, an apostle like uh, or, or fit a description like the Apostle Paul was. But he also may be calling you to be an Ananias. To simply extend a hand of love and fellowship. Whatever the case may be. You be safe. You be strong and you be blessed. And be a vessel for Christ today. A chosen vessel for the moment. Lord's will will see you back here again tomorrow. And until then. You have a great and wonderful day.